Hi guys, so this video is going to be the uh, video finish project. I can't talk. It's stuck. <laughs> my tongue just stuck. <laughs> anyway, so on my last video on part 6, I did end up paying this and then I stopped. That's it. I didn't go back to add more. Tell you guys, blah blah. I just was like, um, kind of like for the old too long and I don't have time for this because tomorrow we're gonna. No, we have to travel to a new property. It's it's. I need this to be done. So quick that is it can be. So that why I stop. I didn't not add anything. I did done with the reindeer and slate there. So let me tell you guys the um, chip this chipboard album. One of my customer requests to do uh for me to make the Christmas house. So what like Christmas house what. Have chimney, I guess that's it. I guess so. I, I made this chimney so, and the paper collection I use Graphic 45, the own collection that a 12 days coating or something. Yeah, so I mod part them and I have the paper and then I use my craft knife to cut out all the shape. So this is a uh, shipboard album came with one door and two windows. So this comes separate so you have to, you know, if you don't want to use this, find the window and the door, it's, but it came with the kit, okay? This uh, sentiment in my sheepboard that I cut and I painted it in white and I stamp with a, with this stamp and then use Tim Holtz ink pad there. And I use snowflake texture on this. You know what? I didn't really like uh, before that I used like a uh, dry, not only completely dry, which is why I did not get the result that like this. I add because it was dry on me, so I add more water. I kind of like add too much water, but it's good result. I thought it was too much water, so but it give me like a texture snow better. I love it, guys. So now I will add more water a lot, so to get like more wet to get like a texture like that so I love it so the window is the same I paint the same thing paint this in white and stamp and the image I got from Pinterest I'll put the link down below so if you guys are interested to use this um, image so that's the Santa and the children's yeah it with the children so and the window is actually I pop up with the chipboard so that in the future I can put Cody photo in there. See this, and I use the lid to make look like a little bit curtain there. And I add the snowflake around here, so I didn't add here because otherwise I will cannot insert my photo in there. And I use the seam binding, this red one there is the ring. And I use this, the cheapest uh, slate and a reindeer. I actually sandwich this. Okay, this is two piece and I use acetate to make it look like it's flying on the top of the house there. You can see. So I sandwich this. So um, let's see. Just have to let it dry like a couple hours, guys. Okay? This all the snowflake texture. So I did this this only in the front page. Okay, let me open the next, the page. So this it will be difficult to open the page because then this one is uh, the corner of the house. The roof is stick out too far. Or maybe you should buy different. So you have to do like a this one to be this one to be on the top or the bottom so it's not interfere each other. So like this. Okay. So if you will try to open like a uh, head did the same level, it, it won't open. Okay. And I did the sentiment from the paper collection that I is it on the border, so I cut it and put that one right there. And this is my cheapboard Christmas tree, and I painted it in white and used snowflake texture on it. And this image from the P 
skin trays. The same sheet I just print the whole sheet. It came in one sheet. So did I make a photo pocket so I can insert the photo in there? I'm trying to get a sample as I can because I kind of have luck. Uh, time twist. I have time limit like today is Thursday. I have to finish this. So we're gonna travel to the new puppy and a uh, new product coming up. Like uh, it's crazy, guys. So anyway, so this I did the pocket like a Halloween album again, guys. Look, see it just flip. So and then I create. So I torn the paper right here and I make a pocket right there. So. I like this because it weighed out this piece my crochet so I don't have to use any magnets I don't have any use any velcro to close this page so it stay right there so now I have my uh, pocket right there to insert the tiny journals uh, photo whatever you name it to put in there okay and again I make the pocket back there so I, I here only glue this part so that I can insert something behind that picture, journal, whatever back there and for the next page so again I make the pocket right here you can see pocket right there and I mean not pocket the flip <laughs> open like that and I make the pocket in the front page so I have photo map there and I did image from the send out that I print from Pinterest again have pocket there I try to do really simple because this gonna use on a real Christmas not to do for you know promote my store and this Christmas tree, I use my shipboard Christmas tree. So I what I did is um I tear you know I just tear the bottom part I here and I cut this one part. I just was is do it all the same thing repeat it. You know, I torn this part and then cut this one off, distress it. After I do all the part and then I twine this a twine here. So I thought about use the uh, candy cane hang on that on chipboard, but I was like, oh, I don't have time for that. And see, and I glue this part bottom so that I can have the photo pocket behind the tree. See, this is so really good. I love this. So for the next page, the next page, I use my circle shipboard there. I paint this in why I use the stem, the same stem that Tim Holtz stem, and I glue the deep part to create the pocket. So I like to see to this the bird, uh, everything there. I think it's good, awesome. So this my photo mat can go back in there. See. And this page again, I have my flip to there, so I can add the photo there and here. And again, I have a pocket in the front page for this one and the image from the printer's photo. Again, I have the pocket there behind, and I have the photo mat put right there. On this one, only on just. I use uh, acrylic paint with the foam paintbrush to dab around that. Only the front page I use the uh, snowflake texture. So this is the last page. Is I again I use the Christmas sentiment cut out on the paper collection, and I use the fence chipboard fence, and I paint it in white and use the snowflake on it and create a pocket. Let's see, I have my photo mat right here and on last this last one I create the waterfall you can see if you open that one right there you add photo here 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 so on this one you can 
you know, add more if you want it get up higher. So, but I add this one only uh, seven page, so there'll be a lot of photo on this on the back here. And I have this photo there from Pinterest, and let's see this on the back like this. It's, it's really simple, guys. So it's it's way to go to me because if you have to do this every year or make this, you know, for photo of you know my family for the Christmas. So this will be Cody Christmas last year for um in this city because next year we'll be uh, living in a new house. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you everyone for keep watching, and I will put down the link. I'll put the link down below so you guys can check out all the product used in this project. Thank you everyone for keep watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye guys.